So I've got some of the data from the Irish giant to show you. And there's the image of the skull. Wow. <laughs> it's a really beautiful scan, this. Here, Marta, we have some close-up cross-sections through the normal skull and the Irish giant skull so that you can see the differences in shape and size. Yes, you see the enormous difference, uh, not just in the size, which is quite obvious, but, uh, for example, the thickness of the bone, if you look at the bone here, and then the thickness of the bone here, you see uh, the, the great difference. Uh, also, uh, the size of the frontal sinuses. These two holes here are the frontal sinuses of the uh, normal skull, while this area, which I'm just showing you now all this big area this is all the frontal sinus so compare that size to this size you see the uh, enormous difference uh, and then uh, of the medical point of view the most important difference is the size of the pituitary fossa so you see the pituitary fossa here which is like uh, a little pocket and inside this uh, uh, the pituitary gland is sitting and then you see that on this uh, skull the pituitary fissa is much larger it's wider it's longer uh, and it looks uh, uh, actually a bit shallow um, uh, shallower but that's because we don't see these two bits of bones here it's it's actually missing but you see that there is a quite a large uh, uh, object was sitting here uh, at the time when the patient was alive so the, the enlarged sinuses probably gave him a very, very deep voice. Uh, he, he may have had some problems with infections in the sinuses. It is very possible that he died of TB. Uh, however, uh, if he had TB, his uh, ability to cope with an infection would have been affected uh, by the lack of the other pituitary hormones. But what is interesting that um, if John Hunter would have opened the skull and would have recognized that there is an enlarged pituitary fossa. Maybe he would have been able to link that uh, finding to the uh, disease and actually recognize that acromegaly is caused by a pituitary tumor, uh, which at the time was not known. And it was not known until about 100 years later, just the end of the 19th century, when this was confirmed that this is indeed the cause of acromegaly. So John Hunter missed his chance? John Hunter missed his chance.